What must an entrepreneur do after the business plan? Well, I'm gonna tell you six specific steps on what you have to do to find success. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we know that if we have a clear plan, anything becomes possible. And if you can have a clear plan, a clear process to create that plan, and a way to create clarity with your partner or spouse, you can drive to amazing heights. All right, so if you've gone through and you've created a business plan, wonderful, good for you as first step. If you haven't, you're welcome to go to our uh, website or buy the book, aspiringsolopreneur.com. We have a whole course that helps you go through and very, very carefully, very safely go through without investing a bunch of money and build your own business plan with a team of advisors for free that will help really guide you in your direction and where you're going. You go through and it's like, okay, I've got my business plan. Cool. Right on. First step, first of the six steps is make sure it's a no-brainer. We actually talk about this in here, but there, there's a bunch of different questions you can answer yourself. And to me, the definition of a no-brainer when you're looking at starting a business is, hey, would I be an idiot not to do this? If you're looking at money, if my brother-in-law, who I kind of like, came to me with this business idea and I'd be like, and he wanted money and I had it, would I be willing to invest the money? Do I think it's safe? That, that to me, it needs to be that much of a no-brainer. But first, you need to have that very candid conversation and realize that, hey, even if you get a shot at this, this isn't your only shot. If it was close, it's all right. It's better to not do it if you're not 100% sure and it's not a no-brainer than to dive in with both feet and hope for the best. Hope is a really crappy strategy. All right, so the second thing, you've been able to do a lot of the legwork, you've made it a no-brainer, it's like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be great. Well, now you need to make a plan. How are you going to execute on this business plan? How are you gonna to start to implement it? And again, we talk about that in the book and in the courses, but go through and really define out what does your day look like? How are you gonna be doing these things? How much time do you need to be talking to? Who many, how many people, do, who many, sorry, how many people do you need to talk to? Who is it you need to be engaging with? You know, how are you going to handle it when you get refusals or when you get knocked down? How are those things and what does that look like? But make sure you have a very clear action plan because remember, you're going out on your own. And if you've only had a boss and you always hated that guy because he was kind of a dick and you always tell me what to do and I don't want to do that. It's like, well, you're going to have to figure out how do you make that plan so that you are the boss and that you're going to then be able to hold yourself accountable which leads to the third thing. The third thing is you gotta take it serious. You've gotta have the mindset that says, no, this is important. I'm gonna do what's hard. I'm gonna do those challenges. This is an exciting opportunity. It's a good challenge, but I am gonna show up and I am going to be there. I'm gonna do this. And you have to have that mindset when you're starting to take it. Because if you don't, don't pull the trigger. Don't invest any time and money because your, your likelihood of success goes down. All right, the fourth thing, ruthless but compassionate execution. This is where you are going to have to take yourself unbelievably, make yourself accountable and hold yourself to account. No matter what, you're executing on that plan. You've got the mindset that you're not gonna give up and then you're gonna execute, 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 execute. To me, I would so much rather have somebody who was 100% uh, in with mindset, with a marginal business idea, but is willing to execute and going to, they are not gonna give up, they are gonna make it happen, they're gonna be a force of nature and keep pushing, 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 pushing. That type of person, I would, I, I invest with all the time. The person who's really smart, but eh, I'm gonna try it, I'll see how it works. Mm, they don't have the right mindset and they're not executing with ruthless consistency. All right, fifth thing, make sure that you're willing to adjust. You have to have that same awareness, like I'm gonna try these, I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep doing this, but I'm also gonna have an awareness that says, hmm, well, maybe I need to adjust. Maybe I need to try this a little differently. Maybe I need to look at it over here. Maybe I really need to be curious and listen to what other people are suggesting. And then based on that, I can figure out, hmm, no, this is, this is how I need to be doing it. So once you adjust, then dive back in and repeat it. Keep trying over and over and over and over. It's, it's not about, um, success doesn't just happen like this. Rarely does it happen. In fact, success is usually all over the place, but tenacity wins. So it's a matter of being willing to fail, fall down, have that compassionate execution, adjust and go back and repeat it over and over. So those six steps are make sure that it's a no-brainer, 
Two, make a plan. Make sure you know how you're gonna execute on that plan. Three, make sure you have the right mindset. Take it serious. Fourth, implement with ruthless execution, consistent but compassionate, adjust and repeat over and over and over. These are the primary steps, the six steps that you're gonna to need to do and what must an entrepreneur do after creating a business plan. So if you found value in this, you're welcome to go to our site. Uh, we have a whole course on here that'll help you with this. Um, more than anything, I'm, my passionate plea is it's never been safer to start a business, but it's important to know when you shouldn't start a business. This will help you with that. Uh, thank you very much for investing the time. And uh, if you like this, subscribe, check out some of the other videos. Right on, right on, keep smiling. <laughs>